For this project, I headed down to my local Dollar Tree. Gonna grab some products right off the shelves. I'm gonna start with these glass beads. These are perfect for what I want. I'm gonna also head over and get some rubbing alcohol. Again, really cheap to buy. Next, I grabbed this bowl, got it from Home Depot for only $11. It has a cork in the bottom, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you plug it up. Next, I'm gonna grab some sand, start putting it in the bottom, and I'll explain in just a little bit. But when it comes to the sand, you wanna make sure you get either some nice good beach, any kind of sand like that, not as many rocks or anything. But the reason we're using sand is as a great insulator. So you wanna fill it up, probably to a certain level, just enough to where when you get your bowl and you place it in the sand, you're gonna kinda be level with the top. What I did was I filled it up, put the bowl in and gave it a nice push, again, level with the top, and it has a firm foundation. Now this metal bowl is where the flame's gonna go. So we wanna make sure that fits in there also. Once we get that in, Let's go ahead and start putting some more sand in. That's gonna give this bowl a little bit of a base so that it holds it in place. Just keep doing it. If you can do it outdoors, please, because sand is a little dusty. Once we get the sand in there, the next thing we're gonna do is just level it out. Good shake, holding the bowl in place will do what you need. Again, the metal bowl goes in there. The reason is we don't want the flame to touch the bowl in case there's any little air bubbles in there. So. Go ahead and put the metal bowl in, and then remember those glass beads? Grab those and start placing them all the way around, right on top of the sand. Don't worry, they're not gonna sink in there or anything. All you gotta do is just keep putting them in there. Now there's also some of those glass gems and some rocks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. You can use those also. Let's go ahead and we're gonna take it outside. Take that rubbing alcohol and pour a little bit in there. Guaranteed, trust me, don't pour it all in. Give it a little bit of a flame, and it's gonna light right up. You can make the flame smaller if you get a more narrow bowl. But if you need to put it out, you're just gonna put a metal lid on top. That'll extinguish the fire. But this will last about two hours on a whole bottle. It's great for just relaxing nearby, and boy, the little puppies, they sure did love it. Always keep safe, though, when you have the dogs around. It's a wonderful afternoon with a little bit of a flame. We are going to be working with concrete, and so the first step is to get our mold ready. But the first thing we need to do is put the lid on our container, and then I'm going to duct tape this rim because I don't want any of the water in the cement mixture to leak out. There we go. So simple. Look at that. So now I'm going to use a knife, a serrated knife, and just cut off the edge, the bottom, to open up this container. The reason I'm doing this is because I want it to be tapered where the smallest part is on the top. So you want to try not to cut off too much and you have to do your best to get it straight across. Okay, so now we are going to oil the inside of our mold with some vegetable oil and we're also going to have an insert which I'm using. This is a Parmesan cheese container and we're gonna put that on the inside. Now this is going to be the well for which we'll have our flame um, mixture, but this is also the same size as a pillar candle, so if you wanted to use this as a candle holder, you also could. A little versatility there for you. So I'm just gonna put some oil on the napkin and rub it all around so that it's all slimy and the concrete won't stick to your plastic mold nearly as much. Okay, those are ready to go. Now we're gonna mix our concrete. So here I have three cups of dry concrete mix in a clean container. And I'm going to add about a cup of water, but this is not specific. This is just going to be adding small amounts of water and mixing until you get the consistency of pancake batter. So we're gonna mix it up until we get it just right. Need a little more water. All right, so now it is just right. I'm gonna put the container into a flat thing that I can use to pick it up, pick it up and move it elsewhere. So I'm just going to fill that now with my concrete mixture. 
and we're going to fill it to about three quarters of the way full. And then we're going to squeeze it so that the bubbles rise to the surface and pop. And this will help our um, concrete have less air pockets in it. You'll notice quite a bit of bubbles come up. So now we just put our insert in there and press it down. And we're going to go to the top of the mold and then we're going to put some rocks inside here to weigh it down. So let me grab a couple rocks. So I just grabbed some rocks from my landscaping and we're going to fill up the insert in here. Okay, and then you can see that it's getting heavy enough now that the cement is near the top. Maybe even overflowing a little bit, that's okay. There we go. Okay, now we want to set it someplace to cure and we're going to be very careful not to touch it. And just check every so often that this hasn't tipped to the side and that your insert is like even all the way around. You want all the edges around the hole to be fairly even. So you're gonna let that cure overnight now or however long it takes for the concrete to dry and then we'll check on it and break apart the mold and make it beautiful. All right, now our concrete is dry and it's time to take apart the mold. First, I am going to just remove all the rocks on the inside. I might just put them right in here. There we go. All right, now I'm going to get out that center thing. If it doesn't come out um, by just kind of squeezing it and trying, then I'm gonna cut it out because it's just plastic, so. And once you cut through that top thick rim, it pulls apart pretty easily. We're going to take off the duct tape and disassemble our outside mold. So I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper and again you want to um, make sure that you're wearing a dust mask when sanding concrete. So now I decided I want to jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to paint it and I'm using um, this multi-surface art paint uh, from Deco Art, and it's like this beautiful metallic champagne color. It's going to be nice and subtle and you could tape off a design with like painter's tape but I'm going to do kind of like just a random um, imperfect line kind of like marbling just to jazz this up a little bit. So let's see, we're going to start here. I absolutely love this color paint. And I think that's just gonna help this catch the light a little bit, see? And just be this added detail that makes it look a little more high end. Okay, so now you could, if you wanted, you could put um, this up on like little feet or you could even cut like a circle of wood to go underneath it. That would also look really pretty. But now I'm gonna show you how to make this into a mini fire pit. Okay, so to fill the cavity of our mini fire pit, we're gonna use isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. And you're gonna wanna look for the one that has the highest percentage of alcohol because it will be the cleanest burning. So I bought 91% isopropyl alcohol. So this is so clean burning that it won't put any toxins in your air. And you can just literally light it on fire inside of your little cement cavity to create a mini fire pit or like a mini fireplace on your tabletop. And you don't need to use a ton. Obviously, the more you put in, then the longer it will burn. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And obviously, you want to be very careful with children. Um, if you have any children in your home, you probably wouldn't want to do this. But this would also be a beautiful centerpiece for like an outdoor um, table or um, you could use it inside during the winter. It's super pretty. 
You can make your very own mini fire pit. Then the way you put it out is you just stifle the air. So you could make any type of cover um, for it. I just have this like clay cover and that just puts it right out.